Have you ever wanted to win every single game that you play on Scaled like I do? Today I'm going to show you the exact strategy that I use whenever I play on Scaled to the point that people that I play with think that I have hacks built into the game to find the imposter. If you have any tips of your own, don't forget to leave them in the comments below so that we all can grow together and be better among us players. Hello everyone, my name is Bojack and today I'm going to give you every tip that I know to help you win. The first tip is whenever you come to card swipe, if you have card swipe, everyone else has card swipe. Therefore, if you don't have card swipe and you see someone come stand here where dummy two standing, that's a good indication that they're faking the task and they're probably the imposter. Then normally I'll come and check in med bay to see who's scanning. If people are scanning, then you know that they're safe and you could rule them out of a list of potential imposters. The next thing I'll do is I'll wait for med bay to be clear and most kills on scale tend to happen in electrical when the lights are down. I'll kind of lurk around the left side of the map, checking in to make sure that there's no one in here. And if someone comes walking out that I didn't see before and there's a body in electrical, there's a good chance that that's the imposter. You can always do the classic sit on cams and mainly you want to pay attention to places like nav, which is right here. And if you see someone come out or a couple of people go in and only one comes out, there's a good chance you know who the imposter is. The same thing with med bay. If you just checked and there was no one in there by the time you get here, if you see someone come out, there's a good chance that they're imposter. There are some caveats to that due to the fact that engineers are in the game. Another thing that I like to do, and you should also do it, is if you leave two people together in a secluded area, like if there's two people at cams and you leave, then it would probably be a really good idea to just double back and make sure that they didn't just kill them. You don't always have to double back, but just kind of use your own intuition. You'll pretty much know when someone got killed. Visual tasks are a great indication and most public lobbies leave visual tasks on, on who you can and can't rule out. Most shapeshifters tend to shapeshift in comms for whatever reason, and a little known tip is that if you hang out right here against the wall, you can actually see when people come over here and shift. You can see the orb color sticking out of the wall just a little bit, and you can, you can rule out a shapeshifter, which saves a lot of headache in the long run of playing this game. And the last tip I have for you is a general tip. It's a general Among Us tip. The only real question you need to know is where people are. If you can find out where people are, there's a really good chance that you'll be able to figure out who's lying. Because if you're in comms and someone says they're in comms and you know that they're not, then they're lying. Be sure to click on this video right here and it'll help you learn how I play the game every time I'm in the map.